Hi, this is Mike Green, and today we're going to look at how our polyphonic legato works. Polyphonic legato is a pretty advanced concept, so first, let's look at vowel legato mode. Vowel legato is the more traditional monophonic legato, so we'll be able to see the difference. If I'm in vowel legato mode, and I play connected notes, then we hear smooth transitions. That's because the legato samples get triggered by our software if there's overlap between notes. Here's the piano roll of what I just played. You can see that note one overlaps note two. In fact, you may notice that not only does it overlap, but I held the note way longer than I needed to. I guess I'm a little sloppy when I play. That's not a problem though, because our software automatically turns off the old note when a new legato sample gets played. The important thing is that there's overlap. How much overlap doesn't matter. So hopefully vowel legato makes sense. Phrase legato works the same way, where you play overlapping notes to trigger the legato samples. So now, let's look at polyphonic legato. It works completely differently. With poly legato, you leave a gap between the notes. So you release a note, then play a new note, and the new note will be connected. Here's another example. Pretty simple, right? All you need to do is play a new note soon after releasing an old note. How soon? Well, that's what this poly legato release window is for. In my case, I have it set so that I need to play a new note within 210 milliseconds. So let's see what happens when we play with a gap of more than 210 milliseconds. See? No legato. But if we shorten that gap to under 210 milliseconds, then it plays legato, like magic. <laughs> so let's review the principle for polyphonic legato. If you release a note and then play a new note within 210 milliseconds, or whatever you have this knob set to, then there will be a smooth legato transition into the new note. Simple, right? But we've only been playing one note at a time. But the whole point of polyphonic legato is that you can play more than one note at a time. What if you play two notes? Well, the same principle applies. As long as there's a gap, and I play new notes within 210 milliseconds after releasing the first notes, then the new notes will be played legato. And the same thing happens with three notes. So release, then play new notes in less than 210 milliseconds, and you'll have legato. You can do it with four notes, five notes, as many notes as you want. Pretty cool, right? But here's where the real power of this method comes into play. Let's suppose you play three notes, but only release one of those notes, then play a new note. Hey, it works! There's lots of flexibility. In fact, I could play three notes, then release just one of those notes, and then go into two new notes instead of just one. Or I could go from two notes to five notes. Or two notes to five notes, release just three of those five notes into four new notes for a total of six notes. You can change the number of notes or you can just move some of the notes. It doesn't matter. As long as you play new notes within 210 milliseconds or whatever this knob is set to, then Realivox handles the legato automatically. We tried to make it as simple to use as possible. I hope that makes things a little clearer about how our polyphonic legato works. Be sure to check out our YouTube page for other helpful videos. And of course, be sure to like us on Facebook so you can be in the loop on all the latest news and happenings from your good friends here at Realito. Thanks for watching.